Hello everyone, I'm your girl Erica and I'm back with another video for y'all. Today um, I wanted to share a little something with y'all that I thought would be a helpful tip. Um, those of you that don't know, I own a industrial sewing machine, which is a Juki DDL 8700. And, um, I bought my first foot to my machine, um, which is a Teflon foot. So I just wanted to, um, share some things because it's just something I learned along the way and um, I thought I'll bring it to y'all today. This tip is helpful to avoid breaking your needle or avoid messing your machine up. So today I'm going to show you how to um, adjust the, the foot bar that the foot is located on to line it up with the needle and I thought this would be a great tip to share with everyone so we can avoid the situation and we can bypass the problem because I know it's a lot of crafters out there that do own an industrial sewing machine and um yeah so I'm going to show you this. I know some people might know it, some people don't, but if you the one that don't, this video is for you. I'm going to bring y'all in my other room where my machine is located, and we're going to get started. See you there. So everyone, I am at my machine. Excuse the background over there. Um, I got water stored, and I'm just trying to stock for the to be on the safe side so um i'm at my machine and i'm going to show y'all as you see this is where the foot at and whenever you buy new foots it's always great to double check to make sure before you even start your project and i'm going to grab my Teflon foot which is right here this is my new foot I have used it before and um so pretty much what we gonna be doing we're going to um kind of loosen up this bar in the back where your foot is attached to to kind to pivot your foot left and right to align it with the um needle to make sure it's actually in the um center and not too close on the side of your foot or anything like that and i recommend when you change this foot and you not sometimes not all foot needs to be aligned so that's why we would double check before we even start the project to see if we need to align anything other than that sometimes you might not have to to mess with anything but we're going to test it out and see do i need to um pivot and i'll show you how to do that okay so i'm going to pull out things that we're going to need to get started and um so we're going to need your screwdriver and the foot that you're going to be working with and need to change out i'm going to keep my machines keep my machine off for safety reasons because it's always good to put safety first so i'm going to keep my machine off um, why I'm tampering with my machine so hopefully y'all will do the same thing okay so I'm hoping y'all can see me it seemed like the um lighting kind of dimmed a little bit from outside but um so first what I will be doing I will be bringing y'all up a little closer I'm hoping this is good angle so First of all, I have a couple of tips that I would like to share with y'all. So, first time you do this and you get your machine, your machine, uh, the screws might be a little tight. So, that's one. And then, um, this is where I would go to have easy access to um, get to my screw to loosen it for the needle bar right here so if your screws are tight as heck like mine was when i um 
first um, winning here, you would definitely go and unscrew this and this um, screw and this and then you will pop that open and um, unloose the screw and a second time it will be easier to just go right up in here instead of unloosing all them screws and popping this open. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to open up this right here. I'm just going to go straight in and have easy access to show y'all and give you an idea on how to do it. So I'm hoping my hand is not in a way, but right here, this screw, you will be um, unscrewing it to release the foot. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. My hand might be in the way. I do not have no one to help me. So just a minute. Trying to give y'all a good angle to see too. But I'm gonna screw it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna screw it. Yeah, the opposite way from me. And then I'm gonna use my knee to release it. And then bam. Everything is out. I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to put, grab my new foot. And you want to check with any new foot, you know, you put on the machine. So I'm lifting, lifting my uh, knee thing up. And see, so that came out. The first one slided out real good. So I have to unloosen it a little more to um get this foot in. And a little more. There we go. Slide it on perfectly. And so I'm going to tighten it. So I'm going to screw it towards me now to tighten it up. Oh my lord. So I'm going to go ahead. Excuse my hand. I think y'all get the concept here. Tight, tighten the foot back. I'm holding it. Okay. So now I'm lifting my foot down. So I'm tight. Double check. You don't gotta be too tight where you can't take it off. Just stable. So anyway, I got my foot on. After you put the foot on, you want to drop your needle down. You want to turn your wheel and drop it down. So that way you can actually see, do you need to adjust anything or is you fine? So now my needle is down and I can already see that I need to adjust some things because if you see right here and I'm using my screwdriver to see if you can and I'm going to be slowly turning the other way you see it's a lot of room over here and I'm going to put my it's a lot of room right here on this side and then as I tilt the camera this way you can see that the needle, the needle is so close to this bar. Like, ain't no way I cannot put my screwdriver in between there because it's close. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's closer to this side. So we need to align his foot and make some adjustments so that way it can be evenly in the middle so that way when we sew it won't be rubbing and hitting against your, the side of your foot. So now I'm going to go ahead and then this is where I'm going to go up in here. Pop that open. And then you see here. And so this is why it's important for this foot to go down. Because when it's down, you see it's even in the hole. But then when I lift it up, it's not. So that's why it's very important to keep your foot down when you're doing this step. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it a little bit with my um, screwdriver 
and I'm turning it the opposite way from me just a little bit we don't need it to um, loosen so what I'm gonna do since it's just me I'm going because I want y'all to see as I so I unloosened it a little bit and then we know it's more on this side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pivot you see how it moves I'm going to do some adjustments to make sure that it's okay and I like it I feel like I feel like it is fine just a little more okay that's fine so now I'm about to go ahead and I'm going to tighten up my screw right here make sure you tighten it back and when you tighten it you're gonna turn it your way so we're gonna tighten it everything is lying fine and I'm going to place the little stopper. Okay, so now I have it already set to go. And I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what it's looking like or whatever. So as you can see that we made some adjustments. It's tight. And I'm hoping my camera can focus. So it's, it's fine. So... We got room right here. So now you can see, and I'm gonna try to aim around here. That is completely centered. You can see that? It's in the middle. So I feel safe to go ahead and run a piece of scrap fabric in here, which I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna turn on my machine. I'm hoping the light is not in y'all way and grab a piece of scrap of my vinyl right here. Show y'all everything is safe to use. Okay, so now I'm going to lift my needle up and I'm trying to get y'all where y'all can see it because I know my hand is in the way and I'm about to use my knee leverage to lift that up and i'm pretty sure i need to adjust the pressure on here maybe maybe not so i'm gonna go ahead and test my scrap of fabric because i feel safe that is not going to mess nothing up so i'm gonna lift my needle up Pull on my scrap of fabric. Get my scissors and cut. So as you see, everything is fine. So that's about it. I'm not going to go ahead and change my foot back because... I am planning on using my Teflon foot for a project. I just bought um, a pack of needles, different sizes, which makes everything perfectly great. So when I have any type of project I'm using for as lightweight or heavyweight, I'm able to change it out the needle anytime because I got a pack of um needles at amazon is a size 12 up to a 18 so i'm happy with that and but i do like to tell y'all one thing too is um when you go ahead and put your um regular foot back on you want to do the same thing check before you sit here and go and you know start stitching so you won't break your needle or anything like that because you got to remember we you know did a little adjustments i remember one time i changed to my teflon foot and when i went back to put the regular foot on i didn't really have to do too much so you never know you just got to check before you go ahead and start your project so that is one helpful tip i can give y'all um 
when you purchasing any foot i'm pretty sure it can um help anyone out there with an industrial sewing machine but i'm giving you a full detail on how to um change out for the juki ddl 8700 so the tip for anyone that do own an industrial sewing machine um if you buy any new foot just test it out i don't know how you would do yours i'm pretty sure there's videos out there but that is a tip i can give you if you do not own a juki 8700 but for those of you that do own it here you go you already know and you can save yourself some time and money so um i hope this video helped anyone out there that maybe was wondering or ran into this problem and i hope you like this video so if you do hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel i like crafting i like doing things and um i have a couple of things planned and yeah i hope everyone had a great day or night whenever you're watching this vlog and until next time i'll see you in the next vlog peace bye Boosh!